<clears throat> oh, do you want to sit up here? Where's drop? Hello, welcome back to the channel. You are looking at footage of me creating healthy snacks at will. This is future me enjoying the wonders of the OXO Good Grips mandolin slicer. Is it mandolin? Mandolin? I, I want to call it a mandolin, but uh, apparently there is a musical instrument called a, a mandolin. It's that plinky plonky instrument in the middle of Wake Up Maggie by Rod Stewart. But this is a mandolin. No, mandolin. <laughs> I'm going to call it a mandoline, and if it's wrong, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. Thank you. Because I'm a bit of an ADHD dad, when I want a snack, I usually reach for something like this. I even have to hide it in the, the fruit and veg compartments of our fridge just to put it out of my eye line because it's, it's so easy. I can't tell you the amount of willpower I'm spending now not diving into that. But it always feels good when I just spend a couple of minutes more slicing something like this apple really thinly. And then when you serve it in a pot, the, and if you just give it to the kids, if you just literally put it in their eye line, they look at you for a moment like you, you're an idiot. And then they start cramming their face with the delicious thin apple slices. But I had this idea which is what if there was a tool that made it a lot easier than having to slice it thinly with a, with a, with a big knife. And I know this is just, <laughs> it's just literally to save about a minute. The idea of having a gadget to, to make a healthy snack quickly uh, was too good to refuse. So I looked at some mandolins. Mandolines? <laughs> Mandolines. Some of them are really expensive, like this. This is an OXO Good Grips tabletop mandolin. And then there are really cheap ones as well, like this IKEA one from the IKEA 365 Plus range. It doesn't even have a Swedish word for it. It costs about $6 or £6. But I wanted to go for, I wanted to, I wanted to treat myself with this just so that the apple slices would feel a bit special. I'm going to unwrap this OXO Good Grips handheld mandolin slicer on camera so you can see what it's like out of the box. And it's got that classic OXO Good Grips chunky handle, which is, is really nice. It is good to hold. It's slightly rubberized as well, which might be necessary if we're gonna do some mad slicing action. And we have some extra parts with it. We have this, uh, I think it's a gripper for holding the, the veg. We'll try that out in a moment. And that really nicely just clips to the side for storage. And then to protect us for the packaging, I'll take off the blue tape. Da! There's the blade. And it's as simple as that. There are three settings on the side. If you want to store it, there's like a position zero so that the blade isn't, isn't raised. And then if I slide this down, that's setting number one. Can you see how the blade separates from the, the base? And actually it's the base that moves rather than the blade. And the base just rests on the guider. It's a really simple way just to change the thickness of the slices. I'm gonna go for a, a number one like my haircut. So you need the bar just above the number for it to work. And I guess we'll just, should we just dive in with an apple see what happens? So I think what's supposed to happen is you just slide the fruit across. This is the very first cut. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Uh, it, I haven't got the camera pointing down. It's really thin. So I'm just holding it with one hand. I didn't realize you could cut it this way. I obviously slice it the other way just to get the knife in and to, to hold it in position, but you can just get through an apple in the number one position really easily. That's amazing, it's so quick. If I hold up a slice to the camera, look, it is absolutely perfect. Much better than my knife cutting. That's incredible. Let's get through the rest of this apple and see how far up the core I can get. <gasps> Oh no, oh, <laughs> I can't, I can't. right, so this is a rookie mistake. Obviously you're not supposed to use your hand because look, <laughs> I've drawn blood, I've injured myself. Okay, so there are two things I'm doing wrong here. One is that I'm not using the Good Grips gripper. That's a learn, isn't it? A hard way to learn. And that's, oh, that's much easier. Oh no, I've got blood all over, <laughs> all over it. Wow, that's, oh, it's really taken a chunk out of my thumb. Oh man, oh, that's not good. <laughs> 
The other rookie mistake is that it's actually shaped to sit on the bowl. I was holding it up for the camera. Oh my goodness, it is really <laughs> injured my thumb. It's taken a chunk off. So it's a good blade. Oh my goodness. So I have part of my thumb in this bowl. I'll give it to kids, I won't tell them. Be a nice surprise. Let's try something else. Let's try another uh, veg. I'm gonna try it with a carrot. Let's see how the carrot works with it balanced on the bowl. What's absolutely lovely about the design is it's almost the exact width of an apple, so it will cut all the way down, all the way through the apple, which is fantastic. And it even cuts through the pips of the of the apple which when i'm slicing it downwards obviously you just miss it but then you don't use the core this absolutely slices everything without any effort thumbs too and then if i get a small bowl i can arrange them arrange them by just <laughs> throwing them into the pot look how many slices you get that is really good if, for watching a movie that will last for about 10 minutes but you get to use all of the apple these are the features listed on the box. It has adjustable settings for three slice thicknesses. There's a clear window design showing the slices falling out underneath. It's notched to fit over bowls and it also slices directly onto chopping boards. It has a non-slip handle for a soft, comfortable grip. Non-skid feet for more control. And it's ideal for potatoes, cucumbers, apples and more. Best of all, it's dishwasher safe. There's no way I'm hand washing this thing. <laughs> but the big test now, how does it taste? So this is uh, one of the thin slender apple slices. Oh, it's heaven in a slice. Maybe I'll eat this before the chocolate biscuit or I could lay them on top of the cho chocolate biscuits. Don't forget, there's a link to this slicer down in the description. I am calling this a Dad Delivers success. Well, apart from <laughs> the minor injury and the two pieces of thumb that's now gone into my healthy snack. But thank you for hitting the uninjured thumbs up button or the subscribe button. It really helps me to keep this channel going. I really appreciate it. And right here is what YouTube knows you are going to love watching next. <laughs> oh.